when you were a kid, did you ever have one of those crystal growing sets? It's like fluid, with the little chemicals. And if you do it just right, you can get crystals to precipitate within your glass experiment. Hey, it's Dr. Toker, your friendly neighborhood colorectal surgeon. And we've been on sort of a discussion on oxalate kidney stones based on a post that I made um, previously that suggested spinach as an alkalinizing agent to prevent kidney stones. And that threw half of the internet into a frenzy because kidney, uh, because uh, spinach is an oxalate containing substance. How can you eat an oxalate containing substance and then tell someone that can prevent kidney stones? My answer to that is pH. So we've spent the last several days discussing that you can consume an oxalate containing food. And as long as it has calcium in it, you won't absorb the oxalate. We've discussed how if you can avoid high amounts of ascorbic acid and collagen as your primary protein source, you can avoid making a lot of oxalates. And, and now today we're going to talk about a little bit of the chemistry. Just because you have calcium in your body and just because you have oxalates in your body does not mean they precipitate into a stone that's based on pH, fluid, in other words, hydration, and the presence of other ions such as magnesium. Again, it's like having that experiment at your house. And if you do it wrong, the crystals don't form. So if you're worried about your diet and I don't want to get a kidney stone, maybe you've had one before in your lifetime, maybe you make kidney stones all the time and, and you're conscious about it, just know with rare exceptions, there's about 1% of the population that has a genetic preponderance for this problem. It is a serious problem for them. They need to follow their doctor's advice. The rest of us just need to know if we stay hydrated, if we consume oxalate rich foods with a calcium source, if we eat a whole food supplement for our collagen and our vitamin C, and if we consume magnesium and we alkalinize our blood with things like apple cider vinegar, lemon juice and water, vegetables like spinach, <laughs> that pH change prevents the formation of a calcium oxalate kidney stone. All right, I hope that clears up some of the confusion.